Melbourne victory in a long time. Did you feel that? Um, I'm not satisfied yet. I think we can get better. Uh, of course, the, today I scored and the team scored four goals. Um, but we also made a lot of mistakes. Um, on the other hand, you know, um, I mean, I think today I don't think we play better. I mean, they didn't play well. I, I, so we have to change our mind for next game against the uh, other eight. Otherwise, it's going to be a tough game uh, next week. I saw you uh, sort of urging Lawrence Thomas in the 92nd minute to play the ball quickly to you. You wanted the ball more, you wanted more and more. Does that sum up just how you go about your, your game? I think that's we have to change. Um, that's I want to change the, about the team. Even, you know, we shouldn't be satisfied even we are 4-0. Because it doesn't matter to me about the result. It's important how we can make people happy here. Um, because I think football is entertainment and, you know, the fans, supporters want to be happy all 90 minutes, even like extra minutes. So I think even we are for that, but we have to score. We have to aggressive. That's I want to do that. I know you want more and you want to be aggressive and you want better results. And, but we were talking during the game, the commentators were talking about the impact of marquee players in the A-League so far. You've had a great impact. Do you feel like you're, you're making a difference? Um, to be honest, I, I'm not thinking about it. I don't feel about pressure. Um, I just am enjoying to play soccer with my teammates and also I enjoy to work with Kevin and the other, like, you know, players. So, about my life so far, so, so comfortable for me, you know, that's the, I think, important for me and for my families and for my... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I think I can improve more uh, compared to the, the beginning of the season. Yeah, I think uh, I have to be fit uh, for the next two years as well. But uh, first of all, uh, uh, they extend my contract uh, before uh, uh, when I got injured. And now they extend my contract again, So, which is really emotional thing for me, so I have to give this feeling uh, to the to the team, for the team to come back, yes. And how do you see the team as a whole for the next two years? What are your goals? Well, uh, at the moment uh, we are still in a good place, so we have to uh, yeah, focus every game and yeah, next two years the most important thing for me that to be healthy, so this is uh, the important things for me. So yeah, I give everything in the every day. Chris Ford with Mayo Shira for PLP in the World Feed. Amaya, did you feel that you could have got at least a point out of that game? Yeah, I think so. We dropped so many points uh, already this season and. Very disappointed, uh, especially first half we couldn't play well, and uh, we got uh, every time we got counter attack from them. And uh, second half we a little bit get back on the way we how we play, but a little bit too late. And uh, finally, second goal was uh, a little bit unlucky, but a really cheap goal. Uh, totally very disappointed, but uh, just in next international break and come back fresh and uh, focus on next game against uh, Newcastle. If there were a couple of positives to take out of it, Virgil van Dijk obviously back in the side and, and looking very comfortable as well, how important is it to have him back playing for you? I think he's uh, one of the best uh, defenders in the Premier League and uh, of course he didn't play eight months, so he needs the time to really get back his uh, fitness and uh, Feeling, feeling as well, but I think uh, now we have a good uh, centre backs, and uh, it, it's a really tough uh, competition between the players. Uh, what I can do is only focus on myself and uh, keep uh, playing, playing, playing good and uh, show a good performance. And just finally, I know it probably doesn't mean much to you because he didn't get anything out of the game in terms of points, but it, it was some goal by yourself as well. Have you ever scored any like that, as acrobatic as that one? Yeah, as you say. It's 
it means really small for me because we lost uh, important games. Uh, not really happy, but uh, at least I score one. So hopefully another 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 is coming next game. Top man, thank you. I'm really excited to to play for Standard Liège. I'm playing two years in Liège, and uh, I was just doing my all efforts to to step forward. Then I'm really happy that I I could step one one step forward now. Uh, for me, you know, it's important to to play games, and uh, especially the playing for the, the club like Standard Liège that like can win something, you know. So. You know, I was uh, playing for. I had also a difficult moment, but I'm really looking forward to to play something to win. I think we have a possibility to to play for the Europa League or even Champions League. So I think the that's the purpose of uh, the club. So I'm gonna do all my best for the for the club. You know, I've I've been playing against Standard many times, and uh, especially in a way, um, Standard have. The rugby supporters and really said them is enthusiastic, so I, I really like to to play here. So I'm really happy that I can play as a, as a player of some of this. Uh, Shinji, firstly, the game on Saturday night. How were you impressed with the atmosphere in the stadium? It's uh, really uh, not same, really big different, you know, as uh, another another game and. Uh, it was really excited, and yeah, then we we had a win against uh, Sydney. It's uh, really yeah, happy. Yeah. And the fans maybe like Feyenoord versus Excelsior or yeah. or something like that. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah, they they make good, uh, the really good atmosphere for us, and yeah, we are really have enjoyed in playing. Yeah, and your performance, you seem to be growing. Uh, with each game and you, you played very well on the weekend. Do you think you're getting better? Yeah, I think so because uh, my fitness get, getting better and and every every training session really, yeah, I, I do my push myself and I push my heart myself and yeah, it, it is that help for, help for the game, yeah. So I have to ask about your black eye, was that yeah. from the game? Yeah, it's not the people who I don't know who you know the the hand hit me hit my eyes and yeah, it's, but okay it my performance was uh, yeah if I close eyes it's okay no problem I can do that <laughs> didn't affect you <laughs> uh, from the team's perspective uh, how do you think the Wanderers have been going and, and where do you see them going yeah it's uh, this team is like yeah, already every every game every training and uh, getting growing up and because uh, uh, our boss Popovich is uh, he he make us good atmosphere and and also the player won't listen to him and then the player wants what what he wants you know and this is very good and from you in Australia, are you happy with the lifestyle living in Sydney? I have, I have enjoyed every day and every every game also game, and life also. Yeah, I have have, have joy. Maybe you stay for a long time. I I, I hope so. I I want to ask uh, Popovich and the uh, chairman, and I want to stay more long. Yeah, one, two, three. I don't know when. Maybe coach too. I don't know. <laughs> I cannot say something, but uh, I won't play more. Yeah. Shiji, thank you very much. Thank you very much. I think that they started really well uh, as a result. And uh, also female football, they, you know, they beat 2-1, uh, two, two the Canada. So they started really well, but still, it's a long way to go. And, uh, you know, when I, when I played well, uh, Olympics game in Atlanta, we did beat Brazil in the first game, 1-0, but we couldn't qualify for next round. So um, I think that, uh, you know, they got a really good start, but still they need to improve and they, they need to calm down to reach uh, 
uh, next levels. No coach. Uh, I don't think uh, I can go back to the football as a player. Maybe a little bit too late. <laughs> but uh, obviously, I organize charity matches, and uh, you know, I always like to play the football. Maybe in a different way, uh, but still, you know, the maybe using football to help other people and connect other people. You know, that's I want to do with the football.